Good afternoon, I'm Dave Percy with the National Weather Service and this is Friday's Alaska Statewide Weather. Thunderstorms uh, developed again over the eastern interior late this morning and were expanding westward along the Alaska Range and also to the north across the Koyukuk Valley into the uh, eastern Brooks Range. Isolated thunderstorms were about to pop over the Nalato Hills and into the northern Kuskokwim Valley but were isolated. Mostly sunny skies occurred over much of uh, mainland Alaska, southward to portions of the Alaska Peninsula and Kodiak Island, while showers persisted and clouds across all of the southeast coast, with amounts ranging from one to three tenths falling since midnight. Bering Sea saw low clouds and fog over the southern portion of the Bering, with some clearing to the north. There was some fog around the Bering Strait of Tin City and over and across the Arctic coast. For tonight, that'll continue, but it'll be basically dry for the North Slope and Arctic coast with some lingering showers off to the east around Kaktovik in the form of rain or snow. Thunderstorms and showers will diminish over interior Alaska, but persist through the night from the White Mountains southwestward along the Alaska Range, northern Kuskokwim Valley, and over the southern southeast coast. Uh, upper level disturbance will produce showers through the night. That'll continue into Saturday as well. Look for showers to increase over the northern panhandle late in the afternoon into Saturday evening as moisture slides southwestward out of Canada into the area and wraps into an upper level low. Thunderstorms develop once again along a trough from the <clears throat> Eagle area west southwestward into the northern Kuskokwim Valley with afternoon, late afternoon showers developing over the western Alaska Range. But otherwise, south central Alaska will be mostly sunny and dry as well as Kodiak Island and Bristol Bay. Storm system will drop uh, colder air with uh, increasing snow and wind, especially for the uh, central eastern Arctic coast where gu gusts on Sunday as high as 45 miles per hour are possible, actually Saturday night and Sunday. Look for anywhere from two to four inches of snow to fall over the eastern north slope and the north slope of the Brooks Range, mostly east of the Dalton Highway, could see as much as six inches by Sunday evening. Otherwise, high pressure will control the western central Bering Sea with mostly dry conditions and light winds as isolated showers as possible along the Alaska Peninsula. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm Dave Percy.